Let me show you a method which helps you to avoid redundant edges from the get-go. So let's start creating some curves with the control point curve. Duplicate this one. And let's say we make a hood for a car. So let's give it some curvature. Let's bring this one further down. So if you look from the left, we have something like this. Now let's connect these two curves. Again, with the control point curve, the first point starting here at the middle, at the end point of this curve, but at the middle, obviously, not here. The second point here, binormal. That's important for get the tangency which we will use in a minute, so something like this. At the last point here, so it snaps at the end point of this second curve with the curvature. And I will create the similar curve here in control point mode. First control point. Before creating the second one, go to this one and press shift. So you have a guide here. It's at the same height as this one and it is tangent to this one. Click here and the third point again at the end point of this curve. Select this end point G Z press control for snapping it to this end point and do the same with this one G Z press control and snap here. If we now select all four and press shift j for patch alt x for mirroring it to the other side and press merge halves together and if we hide the curves and this stuff change the matcap to this one you will see that here is a crease if we look with this matcap and even if we hide the edge you won't see any creases but the most unforgiving matcap show us that there is an issue Okay, so that's not a correct method. I will show you a second method, which I have discussed in other videos. But after that, I will show you an even better method. So stick with me. So we will delete this guy. Bring back the curves. Maybe you know already this one. This extruding this curve. Pressing E. Change the matcap to our default one. And hide this one and you patch with the edge of this newly created sheet you know the, maybe you know this method already and if you press shift j you can now give it a continuity g1 even g2 show edges and go to face mode delete this one mirror it to the other side merge halves together is activated of course mirror it along the x axis press ok and if you bring back our zebra thing and hide the edges and the curves and whatnot you will see that this is flawless but like i said i will show you even a better method which avoids this unnecessary edge move it to here bring back our curves mirror these curves to the other side pressing alt x if you join them all together, J, Shift J for patching, hide everything. The edges, the show edges is activated. So here is an edge, but here aren't any edges. What if I want to work on only one side and mirror this to the other side? That's also possible with this one. So if we cut this, pressing C and cut this and delete this one. And you can do whatever you want with it. So let's say we create a rectangle for making a imprint curve ed make something like this shift i for imprint we could also use the cut command we delete this one punch in a hole for making any further adjustments but i won't go into this detail and if we now mirror it to the other side but with merge halves together activated you see that there won't be any edges whatsoever and if you bring back our zebra thing, you see that this is flawless. It is flawless and there aren't any edges in comparison to, to this one, which is also flawless, but you will always see this edge. And you can see the reason for that if you untrim it. 
So let's take this one and run the untrim command. I guess it's alt T, but let's see. F untrim, yeah, alt T. This is the underlying shape and this shape was built with these curves and it wasn't mirrored afterwards like this one. If you run the untrim command on this one, you will see that nothing changes because the underlying shape of this sheet is already this one, this unmirrored thing. So it's a better idea to create a sheet out of mirrored curves instead of mirroring an already existing sheet. I hope it makes sense. Let me show you another example in which you can avoid redundant edges while creating sheets. So let's create a control point curve, something like this. If you extrude this guy, everything looks cool. If you mirror this guy and join it, pressing J, and if you extrude now, here is a, again an edge. And by the way, you cannot delete these center edges with the delete redundant topology command. Let's try. It doesn't work, unlike isoparam curves or imprint curves. But if you take this curve, create a copy along the y-axis and loft it. Again, you can see that you can avoid this unnecessary center edge. So if you have the opportunity to create a sheet with the loft instead of extruding it, go with the loft command. So these are only two examples in which you can avoid edges when creating sheets. And if you know more of these examples, let me know. Let's learn from each other. Write them in the comments. Maybe some of you ask, why do you want to avoid edges at all costs? And there are a few reasons. One reason is it looks better. It looks cleaner. The second reason is along the way, while your model becomes more and more complex, you will have to deal with a lot of issues and obstacles. It's better to start with as few edges which can cause issues later on as possible. And the third reason is that you can avoid shading issues from the get-go.